Hello YouTube, uh, Iron Gates here. Uh, just giving do another uh, weekly tool uh, purchase of the week. Uh, I'll just get right into it here. Um, just got another tape measure, uh, 16er. Sorry, my hands are filthy. I was just doing cast iron today. I haven't even like got uh, into the shower or anything. So yeah, that's what my usually my hands look like if I'm doing cast or whatever. So that's what I was doing for the day. I uh, just got a 16er. Um, my other tape measure, actually a piece of unit dropped on it like two feet in. Just trashed it. So it's fucked trying to extend it out past like 10 feet. So it's super annoying. So I just got another one. They were on sale. I think it was like uh, under 20 bucks. Something like that. I don't know. They're pretty cheap anyways. But yeah, let's get another one. These are lights. I always go with the Stanley Fat Maxes. That's what, either 16 or 25. So yeah, I got that guy, um, a little magnet guy. I mean, sorry, just a a camera with uh, this one's nice because it actually has a built-in little cheapy uh, light. So yeah, you don't have to shine a light in there. So yeah, got that. That was just a couple bucks there. So see how that goes. I just lost my other one, right? So that's what I don't like about these things. You always kind of lose them. So. Yeah, see how long that lasts. Um, next, this guy came in. It's just a. It, this is from Map. You can tell it's from Map Gas because it has the blue ring for. So this won't fit in an um on like a B tank or whatever. So. So yeah, it's the PL five T. This is the big tip. So this thing you can. It says on the package. Uh, you can solder like two inch to four inch copper or something like that. Soft copper, soft solder. So yeah, that's the packaging if you want to pause it and read it. Um, yeah, in the back here. But yeah, uh, I pretty much had to, with my last video there, I pretty much, I, it's the wrong thing I bought. So I ordered the right package. That's, uh, it's on its way. So I'll be doing a video on that once it comes out. But yeah, this is just a bigger tip for it. So I got the two smaller ones, and then this is the big boy, the big brother. Uh, next, let's see here. Um, got uh, this counter built uh, bit set, counter sinks. Uh, gonna try them out uh, just for putting uh, backing in. Uh, try it out, see how nice it how nice it works. Just yeah, you know, just putting backing in, like just pre-drill your studs and everything. Yeah, it'll, it'll look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna try them out, see how I like them. I know this one guy on the site had these, and I liked them a lot. So I'm gonna try it out, see how I like it. So I just got a package of those. I got a little mini uh, nail puller. I have the huge S-wing nail puller, and I think that it's a little bit too much. Sometimes you sometimes you just need to pull out a little nail. And you don't need the huge honking thing. So this is kind of nice. And it's super light. So I just want something I can just kind of carry on in my tool belt. That doesn't take up so much weight. You know, right? Got that guy. Um, next, I got a, a rectangular magnet tray. So I got that guy. Um, yeah, that's a back for it. Yeah, gonna try it out. It's a bigger one. I'm, I'm right now. I'm working off of a, a scissor lift, and uh, it'd be kind of nice just to kind of have these with my screws. I'm not dropping shit, so gonna try it out. See how I like it. But yeah, I, I think it's always kind of nice just to have this. You throw all your screws in, right? Don't lose them. See how long. See how I like it. Try it out. I haven't used one for plumbing, so I'm gonna try and see how I like it. Uh, next, yeah, just working off of yeah the boom lift. Sorry, not a scissor lift. As well, just working off a of boom lift. I got this uh, interchangeable lanyard set. Um, yeah, just holding my fucking drill outside of the boom lift, way up in the air. I get really dicey about it. I'm like, ah, I don't really don't want to drop this, bump it, or something like that. Yeah, same with like my tools, especially with somebody working below me. I know you're not supposed to, but sometimes uh, you kind of have to do what you got to do. And I really don't want to drop a tool on them or something like that, right? So, got that just to be a little bit safe. Try it out. See how I like it. Uh, last, I think, yeah. This is another uh, pack out. The Slim guy. This is like the Slim model I see. I showed you guys these. I like it. I actually like it. The I bought like the half size one. Um, 
I was going to try it and see what I used. I used it for my screws. I found that I have way too many screws of variety. And there's not enough room for the screws. All the screws that I want that carry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this just for all my screws. Um, yeah, then I'm going to use that half divider for probably... I'm going to empty it out and just use it for electrical, I guess. That's all I can do with that. But yeah, this is going to be mainly all my screws and everything. And then my other one is just all my fasteners. That's what I'm using that that one for. As in like like quick bolts and all that stuff. So I'll be doing an updated uh, version on my packout system, guys, pretty quick. After I get a couple more things, then it's worth doing a video. So stay in touch for that. Like and subscribe always for uh, more content. And uh, take care, guys. Bye for now.